Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to do uh, the part two of this interview. I started to ask our brother, Hong Chi, uh, some deeper questions about his, I was asking him, what is the big vision for his, you know, his, um, his life and teaching and healing? What's the connection between healing and happiness? Because we can see like, if you just heal the body, but you're still miserable in your mind, you still have a lot of negative thinking or you just continue to consume or run after power, fame, wealth, and destroying things, you get sick again, right, in the body. So how the two go together is one question. And then also seeing what do you think about uh, just how does it connect from one person to another person? What's the relationship between the people? Okay, I'll let you share a little bit. <laughs> it seems like that. My vision is very clear and very simple. That is ultimately everyone become one's own healer. Physically, mentally, spiritually. So even if you, f you heal your diseases by pathology or any other means, you're still unhappy. What is that healing for? So you should be happy, be in harmony, be in balance. So you should trace back what's the reasons, what's the causes for all these kind of different blockages or diseases. Then you should be more mindful to change your way of life, lifestyle, habit, way of thinking. That being the case, the whole civilization changes. See, people don't look for things from outside. They, they look for things, see things internally. So mm -hmm. that will change everything. Mm -hmm. That's my understanding and that's my vision for the future. And so could you say something about, like one thing we emphasize here in our tradition is community. Mm -hmm. That uh, ha we say, our teacher likes to say, Ty likes to say, happiness is not an individual matter. Mm -hmm. So, but yet at the same time, he also teaches, like you were just sharing, that we have to find and we have to put into practice on our own. First, start with ourselves. But he also says, happiness is not an individual matter. Is that something that resonates with you in your experience of offering this and your vision for sharing healing with the world? It's so clear in my experience when you share this with others, teach others, and being taught by others, it's totally different. The collective energy is much better. The healing is much better. The happiness is much greater. So that's why I say, okay, I just learn it, then I do it. So right now I've been traveling all over the world, different countries, different groups, and different religions, just doing the same thing. Share this simple experience, and then they share their experience and we do it together. Share together, do it together. So, uh, uh, right now, through the internet, this can be shared more easily. There are so many unhealthy things on the internet. Now we can provide more, better, healthy information. So it's especially good to do in a community. That's why we do workshop. Because when you do the Paida and the Lajin and Loa at home, it. <laughs> <laughs> the energy is low and you are easily, easily influenced by other negative energies, other people, even your beloved ones. Oh, what are you doing? This is crazy. You are torturing yourself. But once they realize this is good, they slap and help with each other. That healing is much better. And also when you do it in a teamwork, because many of the parts you cannot do by yourself so easily, then you can share your experience, slap on each other. Like if you always slept you don't know how the other people feel now if you also slept or you slept together you feel how the other that is what we call compassion be totally different then you are more than willing to share your this kind of experience with others the more you do the more you love to share mm -hmm. okay wonderful thank you and so you see that uh, you've enjoyed traveling around the world yeah. now for about Eight years, you yeah, said? Yeah. And do you, now you saw, uh, you mentioned one thing to me the other day, you said, 
you could see how a center like ours could be a great place for offering this kind of healing practice. Do yeah. you see maybe in the future, would you like to have centers, open centers or help to create centers or to stay in one place a little longer? Or are you happy Is you see yourself traveling? Yeah, forward? I'd love to have centers like this because people can, you know, regularly come to do the practice. And here you have all the facilities. You have great teacher, great teaching, and you have, you know, very good environment. The good trails for meditative walking and jogging, great room for meditation. That's all we need. See, mm. in the future, this world need no more hospitals. They just need a retreat, a beautiful place like this, because here you can do all the healing, except that you don't need any drugs, any surgeries at all, because all the things internally be found. You can find it mm -hmm. easily, and it's much, much better. Mm -hmm. This is a great place. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Thank you. So, in some time, you're going to be traveling for a while, but uh, I know I'm doing this on interview, but after you travel for some time, would you be interested to to maybe come back to Blue Cliff or one of our centers and spend a few months and just to maybe treat the people who are coming into the centers? Because uh, one thing I see about Blue Cliff or our, some of our other centers is that we attract a lot of the people who are the healers so one thing we like to look at for our as our community is like we are the healers of the healers or we are the helpers of the healers because we can't heal everyone so we try to connect and offer something to the healers so the healers can take it out to the rest of the that's world that's a great idea yeah. because you have so many good great healers they're great you know then if you combine this together, they can do it together. Mm. That healing would be much better. More importantly, the healers, because of their position, their authority, they can easily teach more people to do this. It, it's easy to duplicate. So easy. So if you have something, and I, like, or you can organize something like this, either in this center or in other of your centers, I would be more than happy to do that. That would be great. That's a great idea. Duplicating, duplicating, mm -hmm. sharing, sharing. Mm -hmm. Community, community, more and more. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Would you say, okay, I ask you a, a more, in, uh, I know it's on the interview, but I ask you also, it, it's good to have some challenging questions. Do you feel there's something you would still like to learn? Some insight? Is there? Are there things that you are still exploring you want to understand better? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> See, Every time I come to places like this, or in different monastery, even different church, I learn a lot. I think, that especially the meditation. There's something you can go deeper, deeper, and deeper until you really get enlightened. That's a long journey. I have a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're in that journey together, it sounds like. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you, brother, for sharing and offering his presence at uh, Blue Cliff Monastery the last uh, five days. Thank you very much for being with us. And we wish you safe travels and lots of healing, healing on the path. Thank you Thank very you. much. <laughs>